Hi, I'm Jake. Let's create a new composition with our footage, create new solid and add particular plugin on it. Don't worry, later in this video I'll show you the way to make this effect without any plugins. Now, let's duplicate our footage. Using pen tool, create a mask around your face like this. Then go to time, freeze frame. And then to layer precompose. We will use it as a source for our particles. Particles per second set to 3000. Emitter type to layer. And switch our precomp to 3D layer. So now in our layer emitter, we can set our precomp. Velocity and velocity random set to 0. Emitter size Z set to 250. In physics, let's change physics model to fluid. And in fluid, fluid region size set to 750. In auxiliary system, emit set to continuously. Emit probability to 50%. By the way, main particle size set to 0. In auxiliary system, particles per second set to 50. And life set to 2 seconds and size to 2. And in main particle life set to 12. Then go to effect, generate fill. Choose color from your face. And in particular, world transform. Rotate in Z axis to 90 degrees. Animation should start later. And in fluid time factor, let's set first keyframe at value of 10. 10 frames later, set to 2, and about here set value to 0. This is basically particles time adjustments. Let's switch off fill effect to see particles better. By the way, here, in random seed, you can play around with values to get a better look for your particles. Enable fill effect, and since I move my head, I need to animate position of particles layer by setting keyframes. In graph editor, make animation smoother. Now select our footage and go to animation track in Mocha AE. Here, using spline, draw a tracking mask around your face and start tracking both ways. Then click on this set planner surface icon, basically it's corners of our future corner pin effect. And then click on this icon to set rectangle to corners of our screen. Keep in mind that you have to be in frame in which we will add our scars. Click on export tracking data and click on copy to clipboard. Back in After Effects, create a composition for our scar makeup scene. Didn't think that I would create a makeup tutorial, but here it goes. So here, you'll add any scars you want from the web. I've just got mine from movie trailer itself. This image will be in description to this tutorial. Now find our frame in which we've created tracking mask in Mocha and adjust scars to match our face. Hide our footage and drop in main composition our scars composition. Then, at the very first frame, go to edit, paste. It will apply all tracking data from Mocha. Let's also animate scars opacity from 0 to 100 after the fact when particles fly out. Then duplicate our particular layer and apply a few adjustments. First of all, disable auxiliary system. Set particle type to cloudlet, size to 3 and size random to 77. Reset layer emitter to same texture comp as before, so it would work again. And now we have these flying bits of our skin. Size of life set to this preset, particles per second changed to 10,000. So this is basically all needed techniques for this effect in 3 minutes. Later in this video I'll show you how to make this effect without using any plugins. But now let's make few adjustments to give more complex and interesting look, like you can see now on screen. For this, duplicate our footage and precompose it, set it as 3D layer and open it. Then once again using pen tool create a mask around your face and press M on keyboard. Right mouse click on mask and choose track mask. Method change to face tracking outline only and start tracking. Create new solid and change size to cover our eyes. And then use it as alpha inverted mat. Create new solid in main composition and apply a particular effect. Particles per second set to 1 million particles. Click OK. Don't worry, your PC will not explode. Choose emitter type to layer. And layer emitter set to your rotoscope face comp. Direction set to directional. Direction spread set to 15%. Y rotation to 90 degrees. Velocity to 150. Velocity random to 0. And emitter size Z to 250. Particle type changed to cloudlet, cloudlet feather set to 100, size to 1.5 and size random to 100%. Size over life set to this preset here. In physics, time factor set to 2.5, set a keyframe at the beginning and 0 at the end. Then apply it fast blur and change value to 2. And change dimensions to horizontal. Finally, duplicate our very first particular layer, which we've made with long trails, opacity over life set to this preset and opacity random to 100%.
Disable fill effect and apply solid composite. Set color to black and apply curves. Just repeat curves in each channel as you can see on screen. And then apply glow effect. Set glow radius to 5 and intensity to 2. Duplicate this glow and set threshold to 70, radius to 37. And finally change transfer mode to add. You can also apply drop shadow effect to biggest particles and rearrange your layers order. In description to this video, you will find footage which you can download. It has scars image and pre-rendered particles. To apply scars, follow the part of this tutorial in which I'm using Mocha AE. And for particles, just drop these pre-rendered particles on your footage and just adjust position and colors to match your scene. And now you can finally offer your friends to listen to your podcast by handing them your earphones.